Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy, and I've got a new program uh, that I wanted to show everybody today. This is called Pure Ref, and uh, I know it looks like I'm in Photoshop right now, but actually I'm not. If I can move my little canvas out of the way here, you'll see that there's Photoshop. That's the drawing I'm working on, and Pure Ref is actually a window that sits on top. And what it allows you to do is import images into basically an open canvas kind of format. If you've ever used uh, like uh, Microsoft OneNote, which is kind of what I've been using to organize my references, um, it's similar to that, but it's a little more intuitive. It's made for artists um, and it hovers on top of your Photoshop or you can lock it. Now, when you start the program, it actually starts with this dark background. Um, and if you right click on top of the uh, canvas area, you can customize that or you can hit Control U to customize. So if I hit dark, you can see that it is actually set to match the default dark background in Photoshop CS6 and I think maybe CS5. I can't remember if it uses a dark background CS5. But anyway, um, you can customize that. Uh, they give you four open custom slots uh, for changing the colors. You can change just about everything. Um, you can also change master opacity. So if like you need to flip back and forth, if you feel like tracing or whatever, you can do that. So uh, there's also a glass setting, which makes it completely transparent, uh, or at least makes the canvas area completely transparent. I'm actually thinking I'm going to work uh, with that when I finally go to draw, but for now, for just showing off the program, I'm going to keep it on light just so you can kind of define what's Photoshop and what is uh, pure rough. And the reason I'm sitting in Photoshop while I show this program is just so you don't see like my ugly desktop in the background. Okay, so uh, that's the customized area for just doing the general canvas stuff. And these are just two references I've pulled in from uh, this commission I'm working on for Zisto. And I wanted to show off just how you can like crop and kind of manipulate things. Now I'm still getting the hang of it, so I'm probably gonna make some mistakes. And there's like 40 different key bindings and shortcuts that come already with the program so forgive me if I make any mistakes but I'll try to just show off some of the basic ones uh, but if you dig deep if you go to the website which I'm also going to put a link to in the description pureref.com it's a free program uh, if you go to their website you can look at all the different key bindings and shortcuts and all the different things you can do with it but for now like I said I'm just going to show off some of the basic stuff so um, it will you can actually uh, click off of it and it will go away but if you right click you can tell the canvas to lock and there's also uh, control R is the shortcut for that uh, and you can also like I said always on top control shift A keeps it always on top which is what I've been using uh, that's how I've been using the program so anyway these are some references that were sent to me by Zisto and uh, I actually don't want uh, all this background, like all the sky and everything. I just need the characters. So what you can do is while you uh, hold C, you can select what area you want and it will automatically crop it down to that. And uh, if you're like, oh shit, I made a mistake or I don't want it cropped like that, you can just make sure that image is selected. You can tell it's selected when it has the red border and right click and say image reset cropping or control shift C. So, but I actually want that. So come back to me. There we go. And by double clicking, the image will take up the entire thing. I don't want that, so I'm going to double click on it again and make it smaller. Another thing you can do is while the image is selected, if you can hit uh, Alt, you can, oops, why is it not working? Oh, sorry, my bad, Control, you can rotate it. Okay. And Control Z works just like in any other program. Again, this image, I'm going to click on it to select it. Now it has a red border, which means it's selected. I don't need uh, this star field in the background uh, from a game screenshot, I'm going to assume. So I'm going to hold C. See, I didn't like that. Oh, and Control Z will reset the cropping as well if you just made a simple mistake like that. See, I want the, uh, the entirety of these characters. And since I've got some blue sky here that I don't really care about, I'm just going to overlap that. And now, don't worry, it's not gone away. I'm just reorganizing everything. Oops, I clicked off. Bad example is bad. There we go. 
Actually, let's put it on top just like that because that's how I usually have my stuff anyway. And I'm going to move those up there. And just kind of crop this in a little bit. And so now my references are sitting on top. Now the images uh, that you bring into the canvas, you can actually flip and rotate and individually manipulate each one, uh, which is really nice. I, I'm kind of using poor examples for what kind of references you could use, but like let's say you could take like a smattering of images off offline and you just drag them in, or you can copy and paste as you know you usually would do with Control C and Control V. But you could just drag them in, you know, and rotate them, mess with them, put like groupings of images. Maybe if you're drawing a bunch of different hands, you could put a bunch of different hands together, or a bunch of different angles of faces or colors. Um, I'm actually not sure how many images this can hold, but I think it's well over a thousand at a time. It's it's a ridiculous number. Um, why you would need a thousand <laughs> images at a time is beyond me. But if you have your 1,000 images or just your two, hitting Control S or right clicking and say Save, you can actually save your uh, scene. So and the uh, files are called uh, I don't know how you'd pronounce that, Pur or Pure. PUR files and the scene I'll just call Zisto uh, references. It will save that scene. So now if you close the program and open it back up, you'll have those images. And I'm actually going to take one more step. I'm going to go to customize. I'm going to say glass. And now my references are just floating. There's just the barest hint of an outline here in case you want to resize uh, your canvas area so you can kind of see when I well, I don't know if that'll show up on camera or not, but it's there. So if you want to uh, move your, your stuff around or resize your canvas area, you can see it there. And then I will control shift A or always on top. And that way when I click on Photoshop and begin to draw, my references are always sitting right there. So yeah, I just wanted to show off that program real quick. Like I said, there's a ton of other stuff you can do with it so far as different ways to manipulate the images and crop and resize. I think there might even be, uh, yeah, there's color. I'm kind of reading off of a, a cheat sheet here. There's like a color picker, there's scaling. Um, you can flip, rotate, crop, all that good, good stuff that you can do with Photoshop, but a lot simpler in, in its own little program. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't take up as much uh, of your computer's resources, at least for me. I guess it kind of depends on the computer, but from what I can tell, it doesn't take up as many resources. So you can save yourself a window in Photoshop, because normally I would have a window open in Photoshop with all my references on one side, or in Microsoft OneNote, I'd have all my references. Either way, uh, this seems like a much better uh, program a lot more streamlined. Now, I don't know if it starts to suck up your CPU as you bring more images in. I can't imagine. It's just images. It's just a, a display for images. You can't draw in it as far as I can tell. So it's very simple, uh, very streamlined little program. I love it so far. I've only used it for like a day and I'm just, I adore it. And I plan to actually uh, make a bunch of, uh, a bunch more scenes, a bunch more uh, different reference uh gatherings like for different characters in my comics and things like that so I can just quickly pull up a scene and there you go I have all these references for a particular character or a particular place or something I'm loving it so yeah I just wanted to show that off real quick again it's called pure ref as in pure references and I'll put the link in the description go there buy the program donate money fall in love yeah, it's great. Okay, so I'm going to get back to work, and I will see you guys later. Bye!